Hi YouTube, Benji Kicks here back with another video. On today's video, I'm gonna be doing a unboxing and review on a Nike Air Force One that I customized on Nike by You. Now, for the viewers that don't know what Nike by You is, it's a customizing section on the nike.com page. You can customize Air Force Ones, Air Max Ones, um, and even Nike Blazers at the moment. So, um, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and then we'll get into the review and the inspiration behind the pair that I created. So Nike actually released a snakeskin and suede option, um, but unfortunately I wasn't able to customize my pair in time and they sold out um, within I think a day or two. So I'm pretty um, devastated about that. I'm hoping Nike will do a restock in the coming weeks or months. Um, but yeah, I'll just be keeping my eyes out for those. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this unboxing and um, I'll show you guys the pair that I created on Nike by You. Here we have it guys. Um, we've got the box. Um, I'm really excited to see what these look like in person. They actually got delivered maybe two weeks, two or three weeks ago and I just haven't had the time to actually unbox and see what they look like, but um, we're finally here today, so let's let's get into it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna pull these out. Nike by you box. Now this is my first pair of actual uh, customs through Nike by you. So let's have a look and see how these actually turned out. Just got some Nike by you paper there. I'll give you guys a first glimpse. There you have it guys. Custom Air Force Ones. These are, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how these turned out, actually. So, the inspiration, if you can't already tell, behind this particular pair um, was, you know, I saw a whole heap of people doing um, customs inspired by the uh, Dior Jordan 1s, and I thought, oh, you know, I'll do something similar, but I wanted to actually mix it up, and instead of... I saw people, you know, using the black swoosh um, instead, instead of the pink swooshes. Um, but when I was customizing these, um, you can see the color blocking's quite the same as the actual Dior Jordan ones in terms of the where the um, gray leather is placed. Um, but I actually wanted to swap out um, the the black swooshes and laces for for pink. Um, and I guess for me, at the time when I was actually creating them. Um, it just, in my opinion, popped more compared to the compared to the black. So let's dive into the review, and I'll talk you guys through the different aspects of the actual shoe itself. The upper consists of smooth white and grey leather panels. The toe box and mid panel are done in a white leather, whilst the grey leather wraps around the toe box, lace holes, and heel area. The classic Nike swoosh is done in a pink smooth leather and the overall colour blocking for this shoe is inspired by the highly sought after Jordan 1 Dior. The medial side of the shoe is much like the lateral side and features the same details. The tag on the tongue is your standard Nike Air Force 1 tag in black and white. The tongue itself is done in a smooth white leather. The heel of the shoe consists of your standard Nike Air logo in pink stitching. Nike by You actually allows you to customise and add three letters on the heel tab of each shoe, but I opted for the classic Nike Air logo. The laces are your standard flat laces done in pink. The Nike Air Force One lace lock is also pink and features the abbreviation AF1 embossed into it. The insole is black and features a Nike Air logo printed in white. Lastly, the outsole is your standard Air Force One outsole done in a clear translucent colourway. This outsole replicates the outsole of the Dior Jordan 1. So there you have it guys, that was a quick unboxing and review on my Nike by You Air Force 1s. Leave a comment down below on what your thoughts were 
on my creation of these Air Force Ones. And I'll also leave a link to the Nike by You page in the description down below so you guys can have a look and customize your own creations. As always, I will be doing a lookbook on this particular shoe. If you don't want to miss that video, I highly recommend you subscribe right now and also turn on the post notification bell. That was it for the video for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.